Hey guys, this video we're going to walk through a quick example of setting up the new Facebook Pixel and the events you would need for a, a simple mini funnel. And this is based off of uh, something you can actually see out on the internet at uh, on Digital Marketer's website. Um, it's based on kind of the, the starting point would be this blog post video ad retargeting, uh, which is educational video plus remarketing. It's a really great post by uh, Tom Breeze that they recently published. So what we want to do here is set up our Facebook event tracking code that we would use to be able to track conversions and to build retargeting audiences for uh, a pretty simple funnel that looks something like this. Uh, the, the visitor comes to the blog post first. You'll see that we have an inline CTA to a tripwire called the YouTube retargeting system inside this post. And then eventually I'm assuming that we would upsell them to the core offer, which is paid traffic mastery. So uh, let's look real quick at the post again and we'll uh, see where we see the, um, so if you scroll down the post about halfway, you see the CTA here. So if you click this, it takes you to a landing page for this YouTube retargeting system uh, execution plan, which is a tripwire. So it's a lower priced product offering. Um, and that's what we see here in our diagram. So what we're going to do is kind of lay out the event code we would use to track this. Uh, so let's see here our, um, so for the blog post, now I typically use view content events for blog posts so that I can sort of categorize and create kind of a hierarchy around the category of, of, of the blog post, if that makes sense. Uh, you don't have to use these events, these view content events. You can always kind of group your URLs uh, to, to create audiences for a certain tripwire or lead magnet. But I found that this is a lot easier to maintain and keep up with versus trying to use URLs, which can change. And then you have just the issue of always having to add new URLs to your, um, to your bucket or whatnot. So what we would do here, so we have this blog post, right? And you see that we have we want to be able to tell Facebook and give Facebook information about the, the whole sequence of events or the kind of the hierarchy of this entire funnel, right? So we want to be sure that all of these events line up working up to the core offer. Uh, and this will make more sense in a second when we look at the event code. So <clears throat> if we take this first action, if they view the blog post, I might use an event, uh, a Facebook event, view content. Now let's look a little closer at this code. So when they view the blog post, we fire this on the page load, right? So obviously you'd want to fire your base pixel first up here, uh, which is covered in, in the blog post um, at Digital Marketer that this video is, is based on. Um, but we'll, we would fire track view content and then the parameters we would pass would be content name would be uh, the name of the, the blog post. So video ad retargeting, which I took from the URL. Uh, the content type is blog post. Content category would be paid traffic mastery because what I want to do is for any content, whether it's a blog post, a lead magnet, a tripwire, or whatever in this funnel, I want to roll it up to uh, my core offer because when I create my retargeting uh, audiences, I want to be able to use content category to differentiate. Uh, you know, if I want to get everyone who's ever viewed any po post that that eventually leads to paid traffic mastery, my core offer. I want to be able to create an audience in Facebook ad manager using that content category parameter. And we'll, we'll look at how to do that in just a second. Content subcategory is, is a custom parameter that I put in here. So you can use standard parameters, which uh, you can view on the Facebook uh, pixel uh, documentation here. Um, you can use any of these standard parameters, content category, content type, content name, but you can also throw in your own made up uh, parameters, uh, like I just made this up content subcategory. So we're under the, um, paid traffic core offer, but more specifically, this funnel is about YouTube advertising. Um, so if I have, uh, several trip wires, I might want to be able to retarget all blog post readers who haven't bought a trip wire about YouTube advertising. So that this code would take care of our, uh, our blog post view. So we use view content here. Now, when they buy the tripwire, so if they come to my landing page here, you know, I might also add another tag for the view to this page, but for sake of simplicity, I'm not going to go through that. Um, but 
if they if they end up buying this, if they click through here, add it to cart, and then purchase it, you know, and again, we could do an add to cart tag on click of this, but for the sake of simplicity, we're not going to look at that. Um, but if they click through here and end up purchasing on the confirmation page, I'd want to fire a purchase uh, event tag. So let's look at what that would look like. Okay, so we've got uh, FBQ track purchase. So this is a purchase event. The content name is the name of the tripwire, YouTube retargeting system. Currency, obviously USD or whatever your currency is. Uh, the value is the price, 27. The content category, again, just like what we did for the blog post, you see content category lines up exactly the same. And this is important. We wanna keep these things uh, consistent throughout the funnel so that we can roll these events up and create audiences uh, that make sense like sequentially for this core offer. So we have content category, paid traffic mastery, which is my core offer. My content type is product. My content subcategory is YouTube advertising again, just like we did for the blog post. And then I have another custom parameter down here I call funnel stage, which is uh, tripwire. So uh, the reason I'm doing this is I want to be able to differentiate the level of purchases. Like for instance, if I have five tripwire products that are about YouTube advertising and later I want to try to upsell anyone who's ever bought any YouTube advertising tripwire that I want to upsell them paid traffic mastery. I want to be able to retarget all the tripwire purchases very easily without having to go into uh, audience manager and create a bunch of and statements and chain a bunch of things together. So this, uh, this kind of like descriptor, this funnel stage helps me do that and kind of create a, la a layer of abstraction that makes that targeting easier. So if we, if we uh, target these folks and we run an ad to them, all the people who bought this, we're trying to upsell paid traffic mastery. Let's assume they come through and they buy paid traffic mastery. Well, on the confirmation page of paid traffic mastery, we'd have another purchase event. And in this case, it would look something like this. So it would be FBQ track purchase. Again, content name is the name of the course. Again, currency value, just as you would expect. Content category is still the name of the core offer, uh, content type product, and then funnel stage would be core. So you can see this kind of like simplified funnel on how the, you wanna to try to maintain consistency in your parameters that you use and, and the values you use for those parameters. So now that we have that event code laid out, let's take a look at how we would create the retargeting audiences from that, uh, from that event code in Facebook ad manager. So in your ad manager account, I'm under tools, audiences, and then I've done create audience, custom audience. And we're going to choose website traffic here. And let's first look at, see if I can get this to drag over. Um, the first part of this funnel. So we have, if we want to retarget people who have viewed the blog post, but have not bought the tripwire. So uh, look, using our event code here, we're going to kind of use these parameter values in our audience definition. So you see we have a view content event that has content name, video ad retargeting. And then we have uh, the exclusion would be people who, so we would say people who have viewed content, but not purchased. So let's kind of set that out real quick. Um, I'm going to go, uh, I'm using my pixel here, obviously, just because I don't, uh, we're not using digital marketers account. But what we're going to do is instead of doing anyone who visits or any of these, we're going to do a custom combo. And then we're going to do event. And then from your, from this list, this list will auto populate with all the events that have been passed through from your site. So, uh, if you remember, our inclusion audience is view content. Uh, now, ideally, what I'd like to do uh, is use the content subcategory parameter to say, like, anyone who's viewed any YouTube advertising post, I want to retarget them with a tripwire offer. But since I don't use that uh, parameter in my actual account, it's not going to show up in this list. So instead, we're just going to use content name for now. So... Looking back at our code, content name is video ad retargeting. 
and be sure that you get this uh, exactly correct here. Uh, sometimes I do contains just to be safe, but uh, just whatever you pass through in your tag, be sure that it matches the case, you know, the casing and everything. So uh, video ad retargeting. I'm going to exclude event. So we're going to exclude purchases. You know, again, ideally we'd use content subcategory here, but we're going to use content name again. Uh, for this, we're going to exclude people who have bought that specific tripwire. So purchase, content name, equals, grab my content name. Okay. So in the last 30 days, anyone who's viewed a, this video ad retargeting post but not purchased the tripwire content name YouTube retargeting system, um, and you know we do check and include past website traffic and then we might call this something like um, WCA YouTube funnel view post not purchased TW uh, something like that and then obviously you can always add more notes here but that's how we would set up this uh, first audience uh, to retarget the, the content viewers who haven't bought the uh, the tripwire. Okay, so now that we have our retargeting audience to upsell our tripwire, we're going to go ahead and set up our retargeting audience that we would use to sell the upsell the core offer to the people who have bought the tripwire. So again, we're in audiences in ad man Facebook ad manager tools, audiences, create audience, custom audiences, how you can get to this screen here and looking back at our event code we're looking for folks who have purchased the tripwire but not purchased this core offer so what we're going to do here is website traffic custom combo i'm going to go faster through this one so people who have purchased content name equals and then we'll grab the name of our tripwire exclude event purchase content name equals paid traffic mastery and again WCA YouTube ad funnel. Can't remember what we named the last one. Obviously, we want to try to keep these consistent, but and remember, you can just change your date range or whatever to, to fit whatever you need. So that's about it. Now we have our audiences kind of defined for retargeting our whole funnel here. If you're watching this video and you haven't seen the blog post on Digital Marketer, check it out. We'll put the link in the description and uh, you'll get a little more context around where this is coming from and some more examples.